all begins with a decision, a choice. When your wants become a need. So I got this way by just being lazy, and I made several attempts to come back from this setback. But a year ago, I weighed 210, and it wasn't really just the food I was eating, but it was just that I was eating a lot without exercise. I may not have been losing a lot of weight, but it was the baby steps and consistency that kept me going. All right, I'm gonna attempt to jog. It's been a long time since I've done that. Oh God. Whew. That's enough of that. I can't believe I'm getting a cramp. 20 minutes of the walk. I don't know if you can see me, but I'm doing a walk. 4.30 in the morning before work. <sighs> Gotta make it happen. Then I started adding resistance training to speed up the fat loss. I did this about three times a week. So in the middle of phase one in the first Herbalife challenge, I ended up losing 11 pounds. So in the second Herbalife challenge, I stepped it up and did jogs without cramping. And the momentum slowly started to build. <laughs> This is where I get my Herbalife shakes. I've known my Herbalife distributor for five years and she has the best shakes. My two favorite are the cheesecake and the mango nata. They help me stay on track when I have sweet cravings that are healthier versions. In the end, it doesn't matter which path you choose. Just as long as you make one and you make it happen. You may be surprised what awaits at the end of each journey. Try not to always get discouraged by the scale because the real skill is what's in the mirror. Phase two, around the corner.